Yo, Elliot. I'm into reading and personal development and being the strongest version of myself. My girl, she's perfect, but she has no interest in reading, personal development, and being the strongest version of herself. While I'm studying courses, she's watching TV. Is this a red flag? Should I stay with this girl? So, the very first thing I'd have you know is that me and my girl have nothing in common. We started dating in high school. I was into lifting and football, and back then I was reading books. She, not so much. Uh, as we've evolved and grown together as a couple and had many children, I keep growing in personal development. She keeps reading fiction books, you know, things that are entertaining rather than life affirming. And it used to bother me. I used to think that I needed her to be all about everything that I'm about in order for us to be a good couple or for her to be a good girl. But the fact is that we're opposites and that's what makes it work. I don't think that we need to make our women the way we are. And I think that's actually a part of the insidious feminist plan to erase the differences between men and women. Women are generally more receptive, meaning they're in their fields. She's reading books that are more uh, adventure type books and fun type things where you and I were reading books that are about how to conquer the world. Women, women like uh, to, to read about men conquering the world. Men want to be the men conquering the world. Women want to listen to music that makes them feel good. Men want to make music that makes women feel good. I think I remember watching a Tupac video from many years ago when he said, hey, listen, if you want your music to pop, you want people to listen to music, you want your music to reach the top of the charts, you make it for women because whatever the women are attracted to, the men are gonna be about it. And so the fact that women are receptive and that they're in their fields and that they're looking for, th for things that uh, more or less entertain them or just give them good sensation is normal, it's natural, it's okay. It's what makes us not gay. <laughs> it's what makes us like women, that they're soft and they're receptive and they're not aggressive like we are. As men, we want to attack the world so that we can give a woman a world. And a woman wants nothing more than to receive the world, our world. And she joins you in your world. That's the whole thing right now. You got to understand that like, you've got a very feminine woman because she's stepping into your frame. Because the opposite of this, and I've seen this many times before, is where a guy will step into a woman's frame and be all excited about her because she's got so many more interests than him. And so she's constantly dazzling and exciting and, uh, and introducing him to new things. But that's a flip of polarity, right? You're now being the receptive guy stepping into her frame. She's the one that's making all the plans. She's the one that's taking you places and showing you things and introducing you to ideas and showing you books. At first, you know, that's a bit exciting, particularly from our masculine standpoint, because it's like, wow, I'm being open to brand new ideas, but it's coming from the wrong place. It's coming from the woman, from the person that really, even if she's that aggressive and masculine, she wants a man that's even more aggressive and masculine than her showing her things. That's why a lot of times, like these dominant type girls, they'll be with a beta male for a little while because they feel good about the fact that they're in charge. But eventually the polarity subsides and they get bored with a dude like that and they look for a more dominant guy. They look for a taller guy, a bigger guy, a smarter guy, a wealthier guy, a guy that puts her in her place. So I don't know about you, but I want a girl that I can show stuff to. I want a girl that looks up to you, that looks up to me. Uh, I don't want a girl that wants to compete with me because that's the other side of the dynamic. You got these women, I have friends, I've seen this happen, family members of mine, where they hook up with a woman and then they start teaching that woman all their cool things. They show them how to work out at the gym, they show them like their business, they even help them build their own business based on the business that the man has learned to try to build. And then that woman turns around and starts competing with him, starts looking at like, oh, is he is is he getting as lean as I am or is and after he showed her how to do it or is he making as much money as I am after he showed her how to do it? And then once she's competing with you and now she's beating you, she's gone. You see this with a lot of dudes where they'll 
They want their girl to be like them, so they teach them all their cool tricks. And then when all the tricks are out the bag and your woman is better than you at those tricks, the chick leaves. Ha! You don't want that, dude. So my opinion is, let your girl be a girl. Let her be soft and receptive. You be aggressive. You be the conqueror. You hold the frame and let your life be poured into her. That's really what a man does. A man pours his life into a woman. And none of this is just mystical or magical shit. You just look at the genders. Look at the genitals, which determine the genders. What does a man do? He raises up in strength and he gives what he's got to a woman. And what does a woman do? She softens up, she opens, and she receives it. Let her receive your ambition. Let her receive your willingness to go out there and do big things. Let her be the beneficiary of all the amazing things that you're learning. But she doesn't have to be your companion on the road. She doesn't need to know what you're doing, dude. She doesn't have to be excited about what excites you. Even in business, for it took me a long time to figure this out as a young man, but I'm like, I used to try to share things with my wife about what I'm doing, you know, here's where I'm going, here's what I'm doing, here's what I'm building. And her eyes would kind of glaze over. And at first, I was, I was like a little offended. I was like, I guess she doesn't really care. She doesn't really care. Uh, you know what she really cares about? The fact that I'm bringing home the bacon and that we're taking care of the kids and I give her a nice home that she could make for us. Like, that's really what she cares about. She doesn't care about how I'm going about doing it. But, you know, I thought that I needed her to be excited about what I'm excited about. And that's not the truth. It's not the fact. So as long as you got a girl that wants to receive you, doesn't compete with you, and she is a receptive girl, you stay aggressive, keep conquering the world. And I think you got yourself a good girl there, dude. Done. Porn. 68% of church going men watch it secretly, hiding this vice from their wife. For other men, it's alcohol or drug use. Are you willing to risk your marriage, family, and finances? for sinful pleasures and vice? Are you ready to fight back? You're a married Christian businessman or entrepreneur, caught in the clutches of drinking, drugs, or jerking off. Realize that every moment spent in these vices is literally destroying your life. Is this the man God called you to be? To live like this? Are you ready to go to war against vice and take back your life? And here's my advice. Click the link in this video or visit waronvice.com to book a call with me to see if we're a good fit for going into battle together. I'll see you on the inside.